Hi guys! Today we will learn how to split a data set into training and testing sets in R Studio. So we will take a CSV file and split that into a training model set and a testing model set. In machine learning, we make a model which is nothing but an algorithm where some parameters need to be modified such that it is able to perform good at the application, for example, when it is supposed to predict the predictor values when we want it to. So how can we modify those parameters such that the model can do well? We can train that model using data, which we call the training data set. That is one which already has the Y predictor value, the actual value that the model should have predicted, and thus the algorithm changes the values of the parameters or your features to account for the data in the training set. But how do we know that after training the model is that it's overall good. For that, we have the test data set, which is basically a different data for which we know the values, but this data has never shown to the model before. The predictor value is not shown to the model before. So that the model after training, if it is performing good on the test set, that means that, means that we can say that the machine learning model is good overall. It's basically to assess your model performance on unseen data. That's why you train on the training data set and then you use a subset of that data, which is the testing data set. If the model is not tested and is made such that it performs good only on that whole training data set, then the parameters will be tuned in a way that they are only good enough to predict the value for the data, which was in the training data set and that is not generically applicable to any other data sets that you want to carry the model over to. So that is called overfitting. So you want to avoid overfitting and underfitting in this scenario. So when you have a training set and a testing set, usually within the whole data set, you split the training set to be 80% of that data and then the testing set to be 20% of that data. And then one thing that you want to remember is to never ever train on the testing data set. It will skew your results, introduce bias into your results, which you don't want to. So now let's take a example and then I'll walk you through how to do this in R Studio. So here you have the way to bring in the data set and read it from a CSV value. So first, before that, I am going to set this as my working directory where I have this file saved. And then now I have the CSV file called employee data and I want to import that. So I'm going to go ahead and import the. This is the overall data set. So what I want to do is open the data set here. You'll see 10 different uh, row, rows of data and there are different employee data, their first, last name, where they're from, the age, the salary, and then this would be the winner circle column would be our Y predictor, what we want the test data or the model to tune itself to, to predict if this particular employee is in the winner circle, yes or no. So that's our base data set. This is very small, only for this example, only 10, 10 rows of data. So now comes the next step, which is to actually split the data set into the training set and the test set. So what we want to use is the library called CA Tools. When I import that, I already installed it, so I'm just importing it right now. And then when you go to packages, you can see that it is imported and all you want to do, if you want to read more about it, is click on it. And the help pages or the sub package that we want to use for this is sample.split, so which is to split the data into test and train set. So when I click on that, I can see how it's being, what it is, how it's being used, what each variable means. So I'm able to replicate this part of the usage into my code. So you want to do split equals sample.split, and then you want to take the Y predictor column from the data set, which is a winner circle, and then the split ratio would be 80%. Like I said before, training data is always in 80% and the testing data is always in 20% of the whole data set. So you want to split it 
and then it will split the data set into true false values. True will be the 80%, false will be the 20%, and that's how it'll split the data set into a testing and training and a testing data set. So let's run that code right now. So when we run that, you can see that it split the data set. You have two other uh, variables here. You have a training set, which has the eight rows of data and then a test set which has the two rows of data. So there it is. You have your training data set and your testing data set. This is a technique that is very important for model building and just working with algorithms in data science so that you can train your model on this 80% of your data hyper use your hyperparameters, tune your features to it, and then take a brand new fresh set of data, which is your 20% of your test data, and kind of assess your model based off of that test set. That way you will get to see how accurately your model is performing, it if, if it is able to actually predict that y-axis, your predictor column for winner so far, yes or no, in the most accurate way possible. All right, thank you so much.